Hello, viewers. This is True Star Television, and we are bringing you today your number one real estate program, Lands and Creeps, where we don't just share information, but we also show you. This means we'll take you on a journey into the site to meet with our professionals who will explain and give you more insight about what real estate is all about. Now, I remain your host, the real estate explorer. I don't just explore lands or landed properties. I also discover unique and strategic locations and reveal them to you for your investments. So today, we're going to talk something very lovely and wonderful. Now, if you're new to this station or to this channel, I will encourage you to just click the subscribe button so that when we upload interesting videos, you'll be the first to get a notification. Now, today we're going to talk about foundations. Now, what are foundations? Why are we talking about foundations? And today we are specific about a particular foundation. We are going to be specific about one called the raft foundation. You have seen so many houses, they will build a house. After a while, it looks as if you that is downstairs, you can actually shake someone who is upstairs. Why? Because the house seems to be sinking. Or from the foundation, you see the house tilting. It's because the foundation is poor. They, we call it constructional defects. So today, we are going to the sites, what we call the show segment in Lands and Creeps, where you will listen to a professional builder who will tell us more about the Raft Foundation. So sit tight, don't go anywhere, and you will be able to learn one or two things. This is Lands and Creeps where we don't just share information, but we also show you. So sit down and stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Okay, um, you're welcome to today's edition of Lands and Trees, a real estate program. Now, I remain your host, Ome Bagere, also known as the Real Estate Explorer. Today, I'm on, on the site where they are building. We are talking about the best of a building starting from the foundation. So I'm here today to speak with the site engineer who is also the builder and who is also the architect who designed this estate. So we're going to ask him some kind of questions and I'm going to introduce you to the builder of those place. So stay tuned. Um, like I told you, I was going to bring the site engineer and the builder and his team that designed this beautiful estate. This is a beautiful structure we are working on now. Um, he's going to tell us some things about this place concerning the best of a building. Today, I'm with builder Obimena of Restrut Project Limited. He's going to tell us more about his project at the River One now. Yuda, I'm going to ask you some questions. Hope you're ready to answer those questions. You're very ready. You're sure. You're going to educate your fans today. Okay, thank you. Get ready. Um, I'm going to ask you some questions concerning this project. I can see that uh, you're using raft, raft foundation. Why raft foundation? Okay, um, basically the choice of foundation in, uh, in any land or soil is dependent on the, on the bearing capacity of the soil. Before any foundation is adopted, a sweat test needs to be done. From the sweat test, from the result of the sweat test, we get to know the, the, the bearing capacity of the soil. Now, from the sweat test that have been conducted on this estate, the most suitable and economical foundation for this estate is raft foundation. 
So we choose to use rough foundation here because it is the most economic foundation that can, you know, uh, successfully and safely transfer the load of the building to the soil. Okay, um, I noticed something. I noticed that the raft foundation here from the casting and the, the road work and everything is very high. It's higher than the ground floor. Why is it like that? Okay, uh, you know, the, uh, when uh, setting out uh, a foundation, there are some considerations that need to be you know, put in place. For example, you need to understand the topography of the area you are siting your building. You need to know your road level, you know your, 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 your ground floor level, and you also need to know your water table. Now, when we came to this site, we discovered that this land, the topography of this land is low. And when we compared it to the, to the road level, we saw that uh, the, 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 the current site level is about 700 mm lower than the road, uh, the road level. So in order to avoid erosion in building the site being eroded with water in the future, we, we designed the foundation at this particular height. Because as you can see this height now, this the, the level of this site now is far below the road level. And after this foundation, this whole site is going to be filled about 800 mm. And by the time the site is filled, you just cover that your ground floor is just uh, like 750 mm from the ground level. Now with this in place, with this height of the foundation, we have successfully guided against future erosion. That's why you see, if you see some houses that are built that if some of these things are not taken into consideration, after some time, the level of the house becomes lower than the road level. And in case of water problem in the environment, your house begin to, you know, start uh, being invaded with water. So they have problem with water. So that's okay. the reason why this foundation fire. Okay, at what point, you were talking about soil level and bearing capacity. At what point would you recommend a, another type of foundation other than raft? The one that uh, a lot of people mostly know is called pipe. So at what point would you now recommend that they should go for pipe foundation instead of raft foundation? Okay. Um, like I said, uh, the choice of foundation is basically as a result of the bearing capacity of the soil. There are different kinds of foundation. Uh, we, don't, we don't only have pie and rough foundation. We have other foundation like pad foundation. We have rough uh, uh, strip foundation. Now, when we have a very good bearing capacity, uh, where, where you know those hard soil, and you want to erect a, a building there, the sweat test report of soft soil will always show a good bearing capacity. So in that case, for a story building like this, a fat foundation will be okay. Or at times, a wide strip foundation, if it's just one floor, can be okay for a very for a soil with a, a good bearing capacity. But when the bearing capacity of the soil becomes lower than, 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 than normal, than required for a rough foundation, that's why we, we begin to uh, choose uh, the, uh, to adopt five foundation. Now, for a, a, you see some land, for example, when you go to, to some land, for example, you see that some waters are on the surface of the land. At that point in time, because there's water on the surface of the land, that doesn't mean you will go for a five foundation. So you need to know, you need to do a sweat test. It could just be that the water table is there is just a little higher than the normal uh, soil level. And by the time you do your sweat test, even with water on the on the surface of the, of, of the soil, the, the, the sweat test result can see indicate that rough foundation is okay to erect your building. But when the the soil below that water on that soil become too loose, such that as you step your foot on, on, on the soil, as it's as if you are sinking. You know that the bearing capacity of that soil is very low. At that point in time, 
the safest foundation to you know to, to carry your building is pipe foundation. So those are one of the reasons why we do pipe foundation for a very loose soil with uh, the low bearing, low bearing capacity. Okay, thank you, builder over of uh, of Restruct Projects Limited. Thank you once again. So.